What up? It's Esteban down here at South by Southwest with Alan Stone. What's up, man? How's your South by so far, man? It's been good. It's been warm and sweaty and all the great things of South by. Now, have you been like performing like a dozen shows a day or you've been chilling? Um, uh, not too bad. I think I've done seven so far. Okay. But I'm I, but I love playing, so it's just it's it's easy. It's not hard work right. at all. You seem to like really enjoy being on stage I do. and performing. I do. I like it a lot. I mean, it's just the singing part, you know. The right. stage doesn't really matter. It's just the being able to sing and have people pay attention. It was ill like when when, when I was in there watching your set. It didn't feel like you were performing at all. It just felt like we were there, we were hanging out. It was real mellow and intimate. It wasn't like, watch me play. It was like, we were included everyone. Yeah, it's like a family gathering. I grew up singing like, you know, picnics and potlucks and stuff. And so in those situations with just me and a guitar, it's kind of, it, it turns into that. Now, what did you grow up listening to? For most of the years growing up, I, my, I'm a minister's son, so I grew up singing in the church and it was like gospel tunes. You can hear that in your voice, too. Thank you, man. Oh, yeah, it uh, definitely resonates. But when I was, like, 14 or 15, somebody gave me Inner Visions by Stevie Wonder. And wow. That just, like, clicked. And I was like, I got to sound like that. I want to sing like this. And just started mimicking all those singers that I love. Aretha, um, you know, Donny Hathaway, um, Stevie, Marvin Gaye, people like that. I'm glad that we're going down this path because... When I was trying to digest the music, I wanted to say it was soul music because immediately it struck me that way, yeah. but I didn't want to categorize your music. So I'm glad that, you, what do you consider? Do you consider oh, it soul? soul? Well, I mean, I, I don't play with, you know, me and a guitar is like r rare. I have like oh, a wow. six piece band that I play with. Um, it's soul music. We, you know, we go hard. A lot of those songs were more like the, of the folky side of what I've written. But yeah, it's it's definitely soul R&B music for sure. Are you signed? Like, what's the situation? No, just just management and uh, and a booking agent, and uh, I'm still independent. Still just trying to be independent for as long as possible. Wow, um, consciously. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Totally. And um, yeah, doing pretty good. S seemingly uh, moving forward at least. And you got you got a show coming up at, in New York City. Beacon. Uh, yeah, with Beacon Theater, I'm singing with, uh, with Daryl Hall and Sharon Jones. That's amazing. Yeah, they're having me out for a, for a it's called Live at Daryl's House Tour. So I'm basically on the road for the whole year, but it, I love it. You know, like I lo like singing is therapy to me. So I just I want to sing my ass off as right. long as possible. I don't know if I can say that. Sorry, no. as long as possible. You write all your own stuff. Yep. And is yeah. it all like personal experience? Because um, the bet I made is like. Yeah, that's, that's that, an amazing song. Thank you, man. Yeah, it's all personal experience stuff. A, a lot of introspective as, as well as, um, you know, I, I try to bring positive stuff. Celebrate tonight is like, a, hey, let's, right. you know, forget about the woes and the worries and, and just lift our hands and rejoice kind of thing, you know. So right. that's what I try to uh, provoke when, I, when I'm singing. Well, I've been covering all the hip hop that's been in South by Southwest and the hearing your music today and hearing you play for the first time, this was the the best new music that I discovered <laughs> at South by was yours. Thank you so much. I so it's been that. a pleasure. My pleasure. Enjoy the rest of your South by. Good All luck right. on your tour and everything. Mm -hmm.